Also tonight, the CHP says they have had enough. Officers are cracking down on drivers under the influence after a number of recent crashes involved their own officers. KPIX 5's Betty Yu is in San Jose tonight. Betty? Liz and Ken, the CHP says that all of these collisions could have been prevented through responsible driving. So right now, they have every available officer out looking for drunk or drugged drivers. Tonight, the CHP says it's seen enough of this. Impaired drivers like this one crashing into CHP patrol units and officers. This crash happened back in August. In the past month alone, five CHP officers have been hit by cars while servicing other drivers on California freeways. Rosanna Camilleri knows the pain of losing a loved one in that way. He answers the call as our children sleep and I, his wife, struggle not to weep. He's doing what naturally runs through his veins. He answers the call and never complains. With their daughter by her side, outside San Jose City Hall, Rosanna read a poem to honor the life of her late husband and rookie CHP officer Andrew Camilleri. He was killed by a suspected DUI driver on Christmas Eve. Would like you to know how deeply sorry we are so for you and your family. Tonight, the city so. presented a plaque to Rosanna and also to Andrew's partner. Officer Jonathan Velasquez was also injured in the crash. Officers and first responders were recognized for their service and made a plea to the public. Don't get behind the wheel after you've been drinking or doing drugs. Uh, leave your phone in the trunk of the car. Don't turn it on. Don't look at it. Don't text. The CHP is launching its DUI zero tolerance campaign in light of the uptick in these kinds of crashes. We've also got all our, uh, our, our uh, managers, if you will, getting out there as well. Anywhere from, from our Golden Gate chief down to the captains. And the CHP will be out in full force running this campaign through January 31st. Live in San Jose, Betty Yu, KPIX 5.